um, the uh, um, the vehicle did not execute that burn. Uh, based on what we're hearing from our Russian colleagues, it looks like that burn did not execute because they weren't able, uh, through their normal systems checks, to to confirm the the attitude of the vehicle was was at, at its proper uh, condition. And so, uh, not being able to confirm that, then the, basically the burn uh, did not automatically execute. Okay, but I think we've since then um, executed a couple of different burns that give us some confidence that everything's working okay at least. Yeah, um, once uh, once it was determined that we weren't going to going to be able to meet the the four orbit uh, on the other direction, so you can kind of imagine this this notion that we're but rendezvous at that point that that kicks off a a series of of uh, additional burns that have to be done uh, to uh, start targeting station for for uh, rendezvous at, at, and within 34 orbits and and the first couple of burns for for that particular plan have been done. They've been uh, done successfully and and uh, and got good confirmation. Okay, so we don't expect a problem with getting the crew to the station. They should be there tomorrow evening, I think. At this point, uh, the crew is in good shape. Uh, the vehicle appears to be in good shape. The computers are in good shape. The propulsion system is working based on these burns. And so at this point, everything uh, everything looks real good. Okay. Well, um, can you tell us a little bit about how, you know, I guess this is not that um, unusual for us. We've certainly done many of these two-day rendezvous before. It's actually the, the uh, one-day rendezvous that's a little little new for us still. Sure. Uh, back, uh, you know, up to last year, you know, prior to that, the, for the 14 years we flew Soyuz uh, to and from station, uh, the, it was all done as part of a 34 orbit case. So we're comfortable with this. We know how to do it. Um, for every uh, readiness review that we get ready to, when we get ready to launch a Soyuz, we, we actually do do uh, the certification and the readiness to support this 34 orbit case and so uh, we didn't have to go build new products we didn't have to go and do um, a lot of new analysis we were ready to support this it's basically the standard operating procedure to always have a backup plan right exactly all right um well is there anything special that the crew will be doing on orbit um to get ready for this rendezvous as opposed to what they would have done yesterday no, we went through a, a series of replanning activities. Mostly, uh, the crew was supposed to have today off uh, as a result of being up late last night and welcoming a new crew and 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 everything that comes with with getting a new crew on board. Uh, given that that that's going to slide now, um, you know, basically to the 34 orbit case and give them an extra day, uh, we did replan the day today. Uh, we had a, a pretty major software transition that we were going to kick off uh, tonight or last night after after the docking, and so we've we've elected to move that uh, downstream a little further to again allow this docking to take place. But but the crew will, will be working today. Okay, and I know there is also uh, this the SpaceX launch scheduled uh, coming up. Is that still going to happen on time, or will this affect that as well? This particular. Um, uh, issue with the Soyuz and, and swapping from a four orbit to a 34 orbit rendezvous will have no no impact on on the launch of SpaceX. We're still uh, at this point planning to launch uh, or su support uh, their launch on Sunday night Houston time, uh, with the berthing on Tuesday morning. And so uh, yeah, this particular event had has no impact on that. Okay. Well, thanks so much. I think uh, that's probably what we were we we're hoping to hear from you. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thanks. And again, this was Kenny Todd, the mission, uh, Space Station Mission Operations Integration Manager. And we're going to go back now to our regular coverage. Thanks.